Hi, I'm John Dragoon, Senior Vice President, Chief Marketing Officer, and Channel Chief for Novell. Partnering at Novell has long been a critical component of our go-to-market model. Over the next few minutes, I'll update you on why partners are more important than ever, our goals for partnering in 2010, our current and planned partner programs, and what you can do to help make our partner and channel initiatives the best in the industry. Let's get started. Why does Novell go to market with and through partners? Partnering is not an afterthought at Novell. In fact, as you can see here, it is reflected in and central to our vision and strategy. Partners improve Novell sales by providing market reach through selling and delivery capabilities, customer relationships, brand strength, geographic presence, and vertical industry expertise. There are many types of partners that together form complete value chains for distribution and product sales and services, such as training, design, implementation, or support. Partners also promote alignment with other vendors' products and include Novell products in integrated solutions. Partners create customer value and extend our total accessible market. By building strong partnerships that are mutually beneficial and by leveraging partner expertise and reach, we can focus on providing strong infrastructure software solutions. And we can do this while meeting our customers' most pressing business needs, thus making IT work as one. Our product sales goals require about 20 times as much service capacity as Novell has internally. Additionally, our overall market potential is significantly larger than our internal sales capacity. To reach that potential while operating at profitable operating margins requires powerful partnerships. Partnering adds the greatest value when it achieves this goal of selling and servicing more customers and opportunities than Novell can handle alone. Our shared objectives for partnering must therefore include 1. Recruitment and development of partners with Novell selling and delivery capabilities. 2. Creating and fulfilling demand with, through, and for partners. And 3. Novell employees who drive and support this business model. A key goal in 2010 is expanding our partner selling and delivery capability. We are supporting this goal by aligning our resources to grow existing partnerships while successfully recruiting and enabling new partners. To accelerate this growth, we need to measure our partners' success with relevant metrics and enable and engage partners in selling and delivering Novell-related solutions. For example, we can help a new partner become a productive and profitable Novell partner through joint sales engagements and through services enablement as they are developing their capability and capacity. When we are successful in our partner-centric business model, the pipeline and revenue created through our partner's selling and delivery capabilities grows faster than our overall pipeline and revenue does. This obviously will not happen without specific effort and investment. As in 2009, Novell is focusing its awareness, demand generation, and sales coverage on working with, through, and for partners. If the goal is extended reach and relevance in the market through the unique value that partners create, then achieving that goal requires Novell to provide the opportunities, resources, and support to partners across the entire sales cycle, but especially in the early stages. In 2009, we added industry-leading margin opportunity for partners through deal registration and associated sales and influence rebates. We are continuing these programs in 2010, and our business units and professional services teams have been busy creating additional assets in the form of assessment programs, shared methodologies, and services enablement. Our services programs enable partners' services practices on our products and create new services opportunities through assessments that create upsell opportunities. In 2009, we also implemented partner program improvements designed to 1. enable partner growth, 2. invest in partner profit potential, and 3. accelerate partner success. Let's review the primary elements of how Novell creates business value for our partners. First, enabling partner growth through on-demand sales and technical training, sales marketing and tools, best practices and knowledge sharing, and finally, joint business and go-to-market planning. Next, investing in partner profit potential, 
with industry-leading margins, performance-based rebates, deal registration, market development funds, unlimited 24 by 7 specialization and technical support, and finally, comprehensive demo resources. And lastly, accelerating partner success through our partner-centric business model, access to leads and demand generation resources, facilitated engagement with customers, bid response content, and pre-sales support. In 2010, we're further enhancing our program to move from a compliance-based approach to a value-based approach. We will use a performance value measurement approach that recognizes and rewards the value that partners deliver with relevant and aligned sales support and program benefits. We measure performance value through invoiced and influenced revenue, competency, and customer satisfaction. Certain partner types, including independent software vendors and training providers, are recognized in the same program through relevant value measures, such as software that includes, runs on, or complements Novell products or training capacity and quality. Performance values are a better way to align our investments and benefits to partners that are creating real value for customers. For new partners joining Novell, our approach is similar, but is focused on recognizing their potential value. We recognize the potential of a new partner through several possible entry value measures. I encourage you to read the PartnerNet program FAQ or watch the PartnerNet 2010 webinar for more complete information. In fact, all Novell employees should be familiar with partners, partnering, and PartnerNet so that we can consider how products, pricing and licensing, promotions, marketing campaigns, and deal structure can support our partner-centric business model. Another important change in 2010 is that we have aligned our partner specializations with our go-to-market focus areas. This allows us to better align Novell field resources with our partners. And since the focus areas are market and buyer aligned, also better fits the business or businesses that a partner is likely to be in. We've made this an easy transition for partners. Qualifying as a specialist requires performance in one or more of the solutions in that specialization. This means that the change in specialization does not create any new training or testing for partners. Any new training and testing in 2010 will be related to updated products and solutions, not to the change specializations. In Ron's presentation, he describes a very important enhancements to our strategy and how we will pursue a position of leadership in intelligent workload management. I'd like to talk more about where partners fit in that strategy. Novell will lead in intelligent workload management through two primary paths. We will continue to push our solutions to high priority customer problems in the market by offering solutions, capabilities, and products to secure and manage intelligent workloads. We will also create pull in the market through tools for building and securely hosting workloads, which will create the opportunity to upsell management and security capabilities. In the first path, solution providers, systems integrators, distribution, and many of our alliance partners create customer value through selling and delivery capabilities. In the second path, independent software vendors and cloud service vendors, such as infrastructure as a service providers, expand the market and create pull by embedding Novell products in their offerings or by hosting customer workloads. There are clearly opportunities for these various partner types to combine forces and to bring complete solutions to customers. We will help partners locate each other as we pursue leadership in intelligent workload management. Partnering is everyone's job. There are some specific things we need to field, as well as business units and other corporate functions to focus on in 2010. For the field, start by reviewing the field and partner engagement playbook. The playbook provides guidance on how each role benefits from engaging with partners. Client executives, for example, can benefit from partners' relationships, customer knowledge, or brand strength in account planning or expanding our sales to an account. Technology sales specialists play an important role in developing and supporting partners' pre-sales capabilities beyond the classroom learning. Partner executives have an accountability to establish objectives with their partners, assess the capability and opportunity needed to achieve the objectives, 
set plans to develop the capability and opportunity, and to leverage the program, enablement, and marketing teams and resources. A good plan, well-managed, monitored, and continuously improved, is a sure way to create personal, novel, and partner success. For business units and other functions, start by being familiar with partners and partnering in general, how partners' businesses work, and how our program and coverage work. Design our products, programs, promotions, and campaigns with partners and the entire value chain in mind. Make these easy to access and easy to execute for partners and the field. Thank you for your support. Whether you are a Novell employee helping us execute our partner-centric business model, or a Novell partner extending the value of our products to other partners or the customer, your participation in partnering is what drives our business and is essential and much appreciated. Thank you.